Hello everybody. Today our topic will be fish migration. It is one of it is also one of the very interesting trop topic and you will enjoy knowing about it and going through it. I would like to tell you about migratory species of different fishes, their migration, how do they migrate and the method of migration. We will also focus on the orientation, swimming movement and also we will focus on the periodicity of migration and various patterns of migration which is a very important topic and we will discuss. I am Dr. Preeti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, SPC, Government College Ajmer. So this is fish migration. Now this slide is of introduction and in it I would like to tell you that the few species of fishes travel long distance moving from one place to a place in search or in search of food or for breeding. This movement of a large number of fishes for the purpose of feeding or spawning is known as migration. According to Baker, it is a very renowned scientist, in 1998, it is the act of moving from one spatial unit to another. According to Nikolsky, 1963, migration is an adaptation toward increasing the abundance of a species. Now, migration behavior is of course one of the phenomena in the life histories of the fish directed toward reproductive success. Migratory species. Several species are migrated of mature adults for spawning and feeding. These are the examples of migratory fishes. I would tell you the examples of some of the migratory species. Number one is the cod. Their zoological names are written in the brackets. It is called as Gaddis morhua. Second is herring. The zoological name is Clupia herringus. Third is salmon. It is salmon species. Then fourth is eel. We also call it as Angula Angula and fifth is Hilsa, Hilsa Elisa, sixth is three spines, sickleback, Gastroecus and Aculeus, it is the zoological name and seventh is the Lampreys. We also call it as Petromyzone Marinus and the eighth one is the Tanus, which is called as Thunus Thanus. Now in this slide, I would like to show you the types of migration. Migration may be the following types. Number one is elementary migration. This is in search of food and water. Second is gametic migration. It is for reproduction. Third is climatic migration. It is to secure more suitable climatic conditions. And another one is osmoregulatory migration. You know what is osmoregulatory? We know it very well. There is different concentrations of ions in water and due to that the animal has to migrate. That is the fish, they have to migrate. So osmoregulatory migration. Method of migration. A fish can make migratory movements by several methods. Firstly, by drifting, fishes are carried passively by water currents. This is called drift and may result in directional movements. If the overall water movement is in one direction. Secondly, random locomotory movement. Locomotory movements that are random in direction lead to a uniform distribution or to an aggregation. If the fishes are released from a point in a uniform environment 
and spread out in all directions the process is called dispersal and leads to uniform distribution of the species now orientation swimming movement fishes swim in a particular direction secondly either towards or away from the source of stimulation or at some angle to an imaginary line running between them and the source of stimulation now another important point which i want to cover with you all is periodicity of migration most of migration occurs at regular intervals and may be daily monthly seasonally yearly biannually or longer thus pacific salmon may remain at sea for several years before returning to these spawning grounds the larvae of petromyzin marinus may spend several year in the mud before metamorphosis and migrating to sea eel it spends several years up to 20 feeding in the fresh water before undertaking spawning migration to sea the periodicity thus varies between different species and even within a species and appears to be due to many biotic and abiotic initiating factor now marking and tagging information about the pattern of fish migration its direction and speed of movement can be studied by marking and tagging of fish followed by rap rapport the mark or tag must be easily identifiable and must stay with the fish till end of the study now many types of tags have been developed for attachment to the fish to recognize it you can see the diagram there it is easily shown there is a plastic circle given and then you can see how it is put yeah in the middle there is a patterson's disc given and then there is celluloid and all that wire is there in this way marking is done now patterns of migration the form or pattern of migration differs between species as well as within a species mayers 1949 has used the following terms to describe fish migration first one is diadromous fishes in it a is anadromous where salmon and hilsa fishes are put then catadromous the example is anguilla and amphidromous third c is amphidromous diadromous then there is potamodromous fishes and thirdly oceanodromous fishes uh, dear students i am stopping here for this part of my lecture we'll continue with the next part of my lecture with potamodromous fishes amphidromous fishes and oceanodromous fishes we will see and we'll also discuss about the factors influencing and controlling the migration we'll also discuss about the mechanism of orientation and various causes of migration which is very important we'll also study the advantages of migration so all this we'll study in my p part of my lecture second part of my lecture i stop here so students i thank you here only i am again repeating my name dr preeti mathur associate professor department of zoology spc government college ajmer so students be tuned with me my email address is there if you have any query please do ask me thank you